like this, all right? So your fingers, so now there's a bug inside and it can't get out. You hope. But you don't want to close up the rest of the way unless there's something in there, right? Otherwise, you want to open up and get another one, all right? Try again. So the Venus flytrap is waiting for the insect to hit a hair one more time. And then it's going to close up the rest of the way. And then you know what happens? It seals the edge. Pretend this is your stomach right here, all right? So this is your stomach. And what it does is it closes up, and it seals around, and it squeezes really tight. And then what's in your stomach? What, what is it? Acid, exactly. Wow, you're very good. There's acid in your stomach. Well, that's what the Venus flytrap trap does, is it puts out acid in its new little stomach that it just made, and it digests the bug. And all that's left, when it opens up, it comes and it opens up slowly, all that's left is, what do you think is left? It's the skeleton, the exoskeleton, right? Insects have their skeleton on the outside, right? So it looks like the bug's still there. He's a little crumpled up, but he's still there. And then the fly trap is ready to catch another bug. Now, does anyone have a fly trap? Did you? Well, maybe one, when you guys buy them, all right? Here's the, here's a secret, all right? Don't feed them things that you would eat, okay? Don't feed them hamburger or cheese, because those aren't terribly good for you. They're really bad for you, <laughs> okay? So, huh? Don't feed them plant food either, because they're not used to that. They get their food from insects, so only feed them insects. If you feed them hamburger, the trunk closes and then it rattles. Okay, so go out and catch bugs for them. Okay? Now, something we just learned, and I have yet, I don't know how to demonstrate this yet, but did you know these actually glow in the dark? We can't see it though, because it's in a wavelength only insects can see. Because insects see different, different wavelengths than we do, they can see things that we can't. But these actually, glow in the dark too. Kind of cool, huh? Um, really, really exciting plant. Darwin wrote a book. People don't know this, but he actually wrote a book this thick on carnivorous plants. And he said that he loved the Venus flytrap even more than his theory of evolution. So that's how much he liked this. And you know what else? He couldn't figure out how, what happens and how the Venus flytrap actually works. We don't, and to this day, we still don't know. It's been over 100 years. We still don't know how they were really here. We've got ideas. We know more than we did. But that's a, maybe that's something you guys could discover. Anyone going to go into science when you grow up? Thinking about it, maybe? If you do, and you discover this, you'll make headlines. You'll make headlines. Now, you touch that one right there. This one right here. Oh, and you touch it twice. Twice. How long will it take before it goes here? It'll take a few hours. Oh, okay. And if it did catch something, how long would it be digested? Um, it'll digest it in a few days. Okay. So it's not a bad time. Yeah, no, no. It's not, it's not real fast, it's not real slow.